Sir. Hi, I'm Olivier from Off the Tourist Treadmill, and today we're going to talk to you about how to find the best deal for your future cruise. Because we love a good deal. Yes, with us it's always a good deal or no deal at all. <laughs> <laughs> so, the first way um, you can do this is to look for last minute deals. Yes, on most websites of each company, different company, you can go MSC or Princess or whatsoever, there is always a good deal at the end of the cruises. If the boat is not full, they're going to try to sell stateroom for our cheapest price. So the best thing is to, we, we start looking a few weeks in advance of when we think we might go, and we watch the prices, and we look at the last minute deals on all the cruise lines, and as it gets nearer the date, the price sometimes, well, usually does go down. Now this really works if you're not fussy about if you have time. when you're traveling. Right. Because if you have a fixed debt to you for your travel, it's maybe not working because you need to be flexible for your debt and flexible as well for the type of cruises you want to do. You maybe you want a Mediterranean cruise for this port, this port, this port, but maybe you're going to have a Mediterranean cruise other port for another boat, maybe. But that is very good deal. We did that a few times and it worked very well. And literally our last two cruises we booked um, four days in, in advance, advance of sailing. And we got a great deal and as we say we weren't bothered about the dates, we weren't bothered about the type of cabin. So if you're one of those people and you're really flexible and you really don't mind about what cabin you have on the ship, then this could be one of the best ways for you to find there a great deal. Yes, another good point, we checked the meteo before because it was just four days before, so we have... And by meteo, he means weather. Weather, sorry. Sorry, French <laughs> person here. <laughs> so yes, that is the first tip for you to enjoy your next cruises. So now, the second tip for you is completely the opposite of the first one. We are sorry, it's the completely the opposite. You need to book as soon as the cruise is getting out. So basically, if you have to take your holiday in um, at fixed times, fixed dates throughout the year, probably our best advice to you is to book early in advance because you're still going to get a great deal. But don't think you can just sit back and relax. We've got a little suggestion for you, a little tip. Yes, the price of the cruise line are fluctuate, fluctu fluctuating. fluctuating. Like a plane, plane ticket is the same, same tip for the plane ticket. Supply and demand. C'est supply and demand. So you are starting to the a price when you book it, but don't pay in full. No. Because if you pay in full, you are dead. It's finished. So just pay your deposit. Pay your deposit and uh, look during the years or during the months before, look the price of your cruises. And if your price of the cruise is going down, you should contact your provider the cruise, cruise line, line and ask to have an adjustment and usually they adjust your price to the new price yeah so you have to do all of this of course before you pay your final as soon, balance as soon as you pay your final balance is finished this price is fixed yeah but most cruise lines are obviously going to give you a date to pay your final balance so you've got until that time keep an eye on the prices and just go back and say hey you've reduced my cruise $200,000, so I want the same price now. And usually they match the price because you didn't pay in full. So before we share with you our third tip on how to get the best cruise deal, now is a great time to subscribe to our channel. If you like watching us and if you like uh, knowing how to save money on cruises, then please subscribe and do the thumbs okay. up because we've got more videos coming your way soon. So the third tip we have for you today is to deal directly with your cruise line. Yeah, so one of the first things, it sounds obvious, but make sure you subscribe up to the um, emails from the cruise line companies. So just subscribe to a bunch of cruise lines that you think you might be interested in taking a cruise with. And they, as, you, as we all know, they bombard you all the time with emails. And within those emails, they're going to give you a heads up of the um, sales, when they're going to start chucking extra perks with their booking. So it's really worth keeping an eye on those because you can get some great deals in there. So in the same time, you deal directly with the cruise line by phone as well. So when you are decided to take part of one cruises, phone them. Yeah. I always I, phone them, I no shame to ask. I leave that to him because I'm completely embarrassed to ask for a discount, but he is like king of that, that's, that's his thing. Anyway, give So I phone, I phone them and I say, okay, I'm interested to do this cruise, what you can do for us? 
or can I get something else? Can I get a discount of the package of drink package? And if you if don't you, ask, you don't get. You don't it. get. So if you if you say nothing, sure you are going to have nothing. But I'm not shame. I ask for everything. And uh, even fact. even if you see the video about how to get upgrade, this is a good time to ask as well. Yep. So if you're interested so, in knowing how we got a free upgrade, because we did recently, then uh, yep. so make sure you subscribe again for that video because um, that's available too. The fourth tip for you is to book your cruise on board. It's very funny to say that, so you are cruising, experience your cruises, but you have the opportunity to book your next cruises on board. Yeah, so it's worth checking out uh, and finding the area where you can do this. It's often near the reception area. Um, they have people there and they will try and um, yeah, sell you your next cruise. Um, they want loyal customers. So it's, a, it's time to pick up a great deal for a cruise. Obviously, it's going to be some time in advance. Uh, but it's a great time to maybe grab a bargain and um, yeah, book your next cruise while you're cruising. And another suggestion is, if you travel with uh, one cruise line fairly regularly, you become part of their loyalty program. And we didn't realise this, maybe we're a bit naive, but anyway. On our last cruise that we booked, um, because we were on the phone to them, the telephone operator, she said to us, oh, and because you're part of our loyalty program and you've got X number of trips with us or points, however it works, we can give you X percent off your cruise. So we thought that was a result. So if you do find a cruise line that you love, it's worth taking advantage of their loyalty program um, because they clearly offer you a reduced price for that. So our final tip is to search uh, for your next cruise using third party websites. There's a whole bunch of them out there that offer great deals. Obviously do your homework Sometimes they, they said 25% off, but if you compare to the company, cruise company website, it's almost the same price. Yeah. But sometimes they are 68, 88% off yeah. for the last minute thing. And what these websites are great for is that you've got all the cruise lines in one area. You don't have to keep going to various different websites. So if you see a great deal, it may be worth them as Olivia says, jumping to the actual cruise, cruise line, line website to compare. But the great thing about these third party websites is obviously it's quite last, well, not always last minute actually, no. but they're, they're, there's loads of choice on all sorts of um, types of stateroom and often they're giving you um, perks to, um, to book. Yes, like, for example, um, you have 50% uh, off of the stateroom um, and you have a green package, drink package, Wi Fi, credit on board. Credit maybe. on board is depending on uh, what kind of uh, stateroom you book or what kind of uh, cruise line and yeah so, so they're definitely cruise. worth checking out and i like that all the information is there for all different cruise lines mm -hmm. in one place so you get a great overview of cruises that are around and some of the best prices around and you so, were also saying it's a great yes, place it's to a great find place, a great place to find the reposition cruises so i don't know if you know what mean reposition cruises basically for example, your ship are in Mediterranean during the summer in France or in England. They are doing cruises in the Mediterranean. Yep. But at one point, this cruise ocean, ship yeah. are going to go... Relocate, reposition. Relo relocated to maybe in Bahamas or something. Yeah, so they reposition so, to the Caribbean. So you have two repositions in a year. One to go where they want and one to come back to where they were. Basically, is yeah. that... And these deals are very good. Yeah. They are very good. And you can find that on the third party website. Because people don't like to book that because they said, oh, it's a lot of sea days. Or yeah, because you good. visit less, there's less ports of call um, during these repositioning cruises. But you still do stop at places and the boat functions as normal. Normal. Same food, there is the show, same show. There, is, there is everything in place inside. Yeah. But the, book, the boat is not full. And because it's not full, it's cheap. And quite often they're longer journeys and more sea days, as you said. Yeah, so, good, good place to find those repositioning cruises is on those third party websites. So, don't forget to subscribe and to push the thumbs up to help our channel if you like us. And if you have any comment, put in below. We're going to reply as usual. Bye. Bye.